Hello, Lilas. So, welcome back to my channel. I know I just seen you guys yesterday, but guess who I got? I got Puck Santana. It's a puck a poo girl. Yes, it is. It's the famous boy. Anyway, guys, um, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that red subscribe button. Yep. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you share it with all your friends, your friend friends, and your cousin friends, and your daddy friends, and you know, all that great jazz. And make sure you click the bell to be a part of the notification squad, and yeah, all that good jazz. Also, guys, if you want to be a part of the Chatterbox, um, that is a paid membership with exclusive live streams. Um, you do have to click the link in the description bar if you don't see a join button next to the subscribe button. And it is $1.99 a month to join. And you will, you do have to be 18 years old to join. So anyway, guys, um, I decided I'm going to try to see if he can fit this, um, see if he can fit this outfit. It says it's preemie, but I figured it's kind of on the bigger preemie side, so I'm going to actually try to put him on it. Um, yeah. So, those that may be new to my channel, Puck Santana is the Puck Sculpt. He was sculpted by Lillian Breville. He was poured and painted by Claire Teller. And um, he's been in my collection. He's a full body silicone, as you can see. He's Equiflex 20. He was, um, he's been in my collection for two years now. Um, so I guess I'm going to see just how long silicone babies paint, matting, all that great jazz last. He hasn't been for any type of touch-ups repaired or hair or anything like that since I've gotten him. And, um... A few people have seen him at meetups um, a couple times, um, which will vouch that he is in perfect mint condition. And he still looked the same as when I first pulled him out of the box. So um, I do believe that with proper care, um, our dolls will last us a very, very long time. Um, you know... I was thinking today, I said, you know, sometimes it feels like something is missing. Like, you know, when I'm in the nursery and I'm looking around, my nursery is so empty. It is very, very empty. Um, I literally have, what is that that you guys see? I'm always trying to see what you guys see in my background. Oh, you see that box. Uh, <laughs> Nosey Lola. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, missing. In, missing in my nursery. My nursery is empty. So, this is, you know, if you guys seen him before, you know, he his head does fall back. He's, you know, he has a beautiful back. And he wrinkles. He's, he does wrinkle um, as well. Even though he's equal flex 20. And I won't say what I said yesterday. He's not memory foam. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm not going to do it. It's not funny no more the next day. But anyway, uh, <laughs> but what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So I, I, I literally don't have that many babies in my collection anymore. And then, you know, with everything going on with me, Personally, it's like every baby that I make, I was supposed to be making for myself. I'm not able to keep. I'm going to have to sell them. So I'm like starting to like feel like, man, I have no babies in my collection. So um, it is so empty to when I look around. It's like it used to be a time I'd be trying to find somewhere to sit a baby. You know, where I'm going to put this baby, where I'm going to put that baby. Now it's kind of like, oh. 
the swing is not, you know, is empty, this is empty, you know, type thing. It's like, where's all my babies? Um, even the babies that was in my closet are starting to, to disappear. My mom came over and got one months ago. Um, so I pulled one actually down and so I made Diamond because I gave Diamond a different head on a different body. And, you know, it's just, um, just look kind of like Ghost Town. I guess I'm so used to having a really big collection. I can't say that it bothers me as much or that much, but sometimes I do when I get ready to do videos, I'm like, and not that, I think I kind of got to a point where I was pretty much doing the same babies over and over in videos anyway, but now that I want to kind of rotate, it's kind of like, oh, I really don't have babies to rotate. <laughs> so it, it, it is kind of odd, feels kind of odd a little bit. Now, the only part that might be a little different for him is the feet. Buck has pretty big size feet. Oh, it actually fits. Nope, it fits. I thought maybe the feet would be too little. They fit like just right, very snug. He actually fits this preemie outfit better than he do the newborn. I, this burnt bees, and I think that it's just cut pretty big. I've had this outfit for a long time. It was one of the things I bought for DJ when I had DJ. I don't know if you guys remember DJ. Um, he was a private baby for a very, very long time, and then voila, I sold him after a doll show. Um, and that's what I do. I sell, I sell a lot of babies. And then the other day I was thinking, well, you know what? Soon I'll buy, you know, I'll get enough money saved up and I'll be able to buy a silicone kit. And I was looking at the prices of the kits and I was like, man, these kits, the kits are, some of the kits are priced decent, but they're just not my, my type of baby that I would collect. And then I was looking at, you know, um, the kits from Lillian and Claire and I'm like, gosh, their kits are, are high, you know? And then, but then when I look at what I like and what I collect, versus what other people got out there it was kind of like man i guess it's worth it you know um it's really worth it and then you know there are some out there that are are really nice and and the price is not too too bad so you know i guess it's all about preference but the thing is is that it's all about what you can afford too so sometimes you might not be able to get exactly what you want. Um, and then at, at that point, you have to make a decision. Are you going to settle for, you know, something a little less and make the best of it? Or you're just going to go without? That's a personal choice. Right now, I don't have no money to spend on none of it. So, it don't bother me right now. Um... I'll have to see what I do when I get money. Will I invest it all in one, you know, more expensive kit that's more, you know, sculpted nicer or not? I think the sculpt means a lot. Honestly, I think the sculpt, the sculpting is the ma the most major part of the baby because that is what makes it look realistic. Like I've seen, like you could take a very nice sculpted baby and do mediocre painting but you can't take a mediocre to not so great sculpting and do great painting and change the way the baby look make it look realistic because what happens is it looks great with in pictures and all that but when you hold the baby if the proportions is off and all this great jazz you start to I mean you feel differently about it I don't know how to explain it well I do because I'm used to the realism. So, um, but so far, I've, so far the kits that I've bought, the silicone kits that I've bought has been really nice. So, 
I haven't ran into that issue like where I bought bought one and brought the kit home, you know, as far as silicone, and I was like, oh my God, what did I do? I've been very happy with every silicone baby that I've purchased thus far, as far as, you know, proportion and stuff like that. Um, and I've only, I've only bought two blanks and then, um, you know, I have my, boop, boop, boop. And then I have my little, um, the ones that I bought that's already completed, of course. And I've had some of those that wasn't, you know, that great, but recently I've had, I've, I've done pretty well. So, and right now, the only thing I'm really kind of craving is a new reborn. I don't know. So, I just want to be able to keep one of the babies that I paint. So, I'm, I'm working on it and trying to decide, okay, which one of these is not going to go up for sale. So, oh my God, he looks so cute. I'm going to go, um, and take some pictures of him so if you're not following me on Instagram make sure you follow me on Instagram because you will see lots of pictures of this sweet little baby I just love him so much let me tell you something it, he makes my whole heart jump and I do enjoy holding him you know he, even though he's equal flex 20 because before you know I got the soft soft before I got like um Vivi and Noah and Bella and you know those babies I really wasn't like feeling no type of way so um yeah but I I love him like he honestly I love him just as much as I do Noah it's just different with the feel of him um I'm really with him I love his sculpt, don't get me wrong. It wouldn't be as great as without the sculpt, we already know that. But his painting, the way that he was painted versus many other babies that I've had, he's just my favorite painted baby that, one of my favorite painted babies that Claire has painted for me. I mean, he's just everything that I like in, in my baby. So he's very, very special. So I think that's important. When you find that, I think you have to hold on to it. And I've I've had a couple that I really, really loved. And then, you know, I've let them go for whatever reasons. And then it's just, you know, it's, it's like a, not really a regret, but kind of. Like, you, you know, you wish you could have kept that one and this or that. Um, I have two babies out there no i have three babies out there that i let go that if i could do things differently i would never have letting them go but i don't regret what i did because if i hadn't let them go i wouldn't have been able to get something else if that makes sense but there's three babies that really really breaks my heart that i let them go three definitely three um one, I actually, literally, I was crying and I was like, oh my God, really? Like, this is a doll. Like, I was I was acting like the outside people. I was like, why are you crying? Stop crying. Like, I cried packing. I cried putting them in the box. I cried when I shipped. I cried when I got home. When I seen the some of the little clothes things that they had, I was like, <gasps> I can't believe I had to do that. But I had something personal come up and I needed the money, so I did it. So anyway, it is what it is. You know what I mean? So, but I've, I've been very fortunate to have seen such beautiful babies come through my, my, my collection. There's so much talent out there these days. So many artists is doing amazing things. Um, I follow quite a bit and I'm just amazed at the growth um, in reborns and silicones. 
of what the art form has turned into. I mean, it's just getting more real and more real by the minute. It's amazing to me, really it is. I just, it's mind blowing. Um, so definitely every show that I can get to, I'm definitely going because I want to, you know, I want to see the, um, I want to see these babies, even though I can't, you know, bring them all home. I want to see this work in person because it's like, whoa. I got three to four artists that are on my list of dream babies, of babies that, or dream artists that I would love to have a piece of their work in my collection. Um, reborns, they are all reborns. Um, I haven't, I haven't had another dream silicone artist. Clartella is pretty much it for me. Um, but I do have other silicone artists that I would not mind having at work in my collection because I, I do love their work from what I see. But I, I can't say that it's a dream artist. Um, yeah. So even though I might can't afford Claire, you know, new work, I'm still a huge fan. I just am. I just love what that lady does. She's she's an amazing artist. She really is, you know. Um, no one's perfect, but yeah. And then um, Bonnie Brown. I, I wish that I could, I do wish that I could get a silicone baby sculpted by Bonnie Brown. That would be amazing. Now, I guess that would be a dream. That's the ultimate dream. If I could get a baby, it could even be sculpted and painted by Bonnie Brown because Bonnie Brown painted, I saw where she did a painting and she's actually good. So, um, yeah, it could be totally completed by Bonnie Brown or Bonnie Brown sculpt and Claire Taylor paints. That would be amazing too, but yeah. Or Chrissy, Chrissy could paint it. I mean, you know, if y'all watching, you know, put that on your Christmas list, you know, send Serenity a sculpted, painted baby by Bonnie Brown. Yep. Tell Chrissy that. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, anyway, guys, love you guys. This video has been too long and I got to go. My alarm is going off. Bye.